everyone, welcome to Amateur FX Views. I'm Theo. Today I'm playing the Hot Cake um, by Crowther. So years ago I had one of these and I've always been curious to get one again. Um, back in like, I don't know, like 2007 when I started on my whole like bass pedal journey, this is one of those pedals that people kind of suggested. Importantly with this version of the Hot Cake and more recent ones it has a switch to go from bass to guitar and also one to uh what they call the bluesbury version which kind of takes off some of the sort of more brittle top end of the of the distortion circuit uh, you've got your level you've got your drive and you've got your presence knob your presence knob is actually what seems to be like a a mid-range boost um around like 800 hertz i remember playing this like back in the day and making it and it kind of felt like it sounded like a, a fender bassman a silver face uh fender bassman amp that i used to play through um my setup for today is my squire classic vibe precision bass going into the hot cake going into my vt bass which is providing some ampeg style cab and amp simulation later on in the video I'm going to turn off the VT bass and put on my more radar, which is just going to provide a low pass filter at 5 kilohertz and a high pass filter at about 35 hertz. The reason I do that is it gives you more of a representation of what the clean sound of the pedal is, uh, but just lops off the very top and very bottom of the signal frequency wise, just so it doesn't sound like absolute crap when it's going into the sound card. So I'll give you some of my clean tone first. Thank you. 
So I've now got the uh, Moor radar with the high pass and low pass filter going on. I've turned off the VT bass. As you might have heard when um, I had that last, the first loop on, I was playing around with the eternal switches, which is for the soft edge slash bluesbury sort of modification and the guitar and bass setting. Now, both are subtle. Um, I don't know whether we will hear more impact now we're going through the high pass low pass filter because it's got less of the sort of ampeg style coloration. I noticed the um when I've just personally been playing through the hot cake, I noticed the um the bass mod does seem to add in that extra just low end, but it, it's subtle, but it's that subtle difference between trying to make do with a guitar pedal that's not designed for bass and a bass pedal that you feel much more confident with. Um, also, what you might have clocked on is because the presence is a, essentially a mid-range control, um, it's really nice to add definition and at lower gain settings, you may wish to dial that back a bit. So it's a bit of a sort of warmer tone, but when it gets to higher gain, you might want to boost it up more to add some more definition to the distortion sound. So I'm just going to record a little little loop on my really cheap little looper, um, and then I'll get to playing around again. The last thing you heard was fingerstyle. Uh, I'm going to continue playing fingerstyle for now. Okay, so that's the hot cake by Crowther Audio. Um, I love the hot cake. I think it's great. I think it works really well as a bass pedal. And what with me kind of generally doing a lot of videos on fuzzers, I'd kind of forgotten a little bit about how dynamic some of these overdrive circuits are. And I'm sure what you could hear, especially with that last bit, when I had the hot cake off, because I'm not using any compression on the bass or anything, you could really hear how um, my playing attack was like, had some sort of spiky, spiky notes. 
and the hot cake kind of takes all that and turns it into really dynamic overdrive which, which i think is perfect it's really really kind of what i want to hear uh, from that um honestly i would recommend it i managed to find this used i think there's another used one on ebay uk at the moment uh yeah absolutely i recommend this um things to note yeah there i didn't really hear any difference between the bass um setting and the guitar setting or the bluesbury and um regular normal setting so you know the differences are subtle but they're there also with the mo radar cutting everything off at about five kilohertz maybe that effect is going on further up anyway hope you enjoyed this video if you did drop a like if you want to subscribe then please do i am uploading videos twice a week at the moment hopefully i'll be able to continue doing that um hope you all had a lovely christmas break um or at least as good as you can uh, in the current circumstances. I don't know about you, but in the UK, we had a full-on lockdown, so I didn't get to see my family this Christmas. Um, it was just me, my wife, and my cat, which was nice, but, you know, it would have been nice to see the rest of my family too. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day. Bye.